Donald Trump's attorney, Alina Habba, strongly refutes the idea of her client striking an extortion plea deal with New York prosecutors amid the ongoing $250 million civil lawsuit brought by Attorney General Letitia James. In an exclusive interview with the Daily Mail, Habba criticized James for allegedly pressuring Trump into a substantial payment. The lawsuit contends that the Trump Organization manipulated asset values for bank loans and tax benefits, with Deutsche Bank being a central figure. The once cozy relationship between Trump and Deutsche Bank has reportedly strained since the former president left office. As the New York Supreme Court, presided over by Judge Arthur Engeron, assesses the case, Habba dismisses the possibility of advising Trump to acquiesce to what she perceives as extortion. James asserts that Trump committed fraud for years, leading to Angeron ordering the rescinding of some business licenses, making it challenging for Trump to continue operations in New York. Despite this, Trump maintains his innocence, accusing prosecutors of undervaluing his extensive properties. Habba acknowledges the potential symbolic significance of Trump's potential departure from the iconic New York landscape. She suggests that Trump, despite having fond memories of the city, might not be overly saddened by leaving, expressing a belief that New York has undergone changes that diverge from its past allure. As the legal battle unfolds, the prospect of Trump severing ties with New York looms large, raising questions about the future of his real estate empire and business ventures in the city.